Okay, Ryan, an nil-nil draw against uh, Chelmsford City. Uh, how did you see the game? Yeah, it was um, quite an equal game, I feel. On obviously on a dry, hot day. Uh, I think both teams pretty much cancelled each other out. Um, obviously both teams huffed and puffed. But um, yeah, I don't think it's a bad point to be fair. First game of the season away to Chelmsford. Chelmsford, obviously a team that got to the playoffs last season. They're going to be a top opposition for every other team they play. And uh, it proved today for us. Yeah, they seem very well organised. Uh, I don't think they really created too many chances. I think our back line dealt with it really well. Um, but yeah, it was much of a muchness the game really. Um, obviously we didn't create a lot, but we could have obviously nicked it towards the end. Um, so it could have gone either way. I think it was going to be one of those games where it was either going to be a set play or a mistake, which you know was the difference between the teams. And tell us about your, your debut for Talking Night Football Club. Yeah, it was enjoyable. Um, I ran around a lot. Uh, it was obviously a little bit different to what I've been used to, but um, yeah, I'm enjoying my time here. It's uh, hopefully you know we can put together a good team and um, you know a good a good atmosphere around the football club. What do you see as the team's plus points? The way we're going to get points this season? How are we going to get them? Um, I think set plays in this league are going to be key. And we need to take advantage of that. Uh, I feel as if there is going to be a lot of uh, set plays and a lot of mistakes. We need to play at a higher tempo. Um, obviously, it is a lot hot, harder when it's this hot and the you know the grass isn't great um, to create that tempo. But um, I think that's where we're going to uh, undo teams, obviously, with our fitness and our organisation. This is the first time uh, you've had an interview since joining the club. Yeah, <laughs> snuck under the radar. <laughs> <laughs> tell us about tell us about why you joined and uh, and uh, what you're going to bring to the team. Um, well, obviously, I found myself in a position without a club in the summer, um, and I am obviously from the southwest. Uh, it's a local club to me, a club which, you know, I think anyone from around this way, Plymouth. Um, it's Torquay's a club, you know, everyone's hearts. Um, it's a club which I enjoy and it's an area which I love. Um, and it was either move away, you know, London, away from my family and the same old, same old at the age of 31, which isn't really what I wanted. Um, and Gary gave me the opportunity here to, to, you know, set up base and, you know, hopefully be here for a few years to come. Well, thanks for joining us and uh, we look forward to Tuesday night, of course. Uh, tell us about that game, Bath City at home. Yeah, uh, I think they're a good team. I know actually a few of their boys, uh, le you know, obviously have played in the league. Um, Say so it's a local derby-ish, I guess. It should be enjoyable. I can't wait to play at home because uh, at the moment our pitch is uh, very, very nice. Well, thanks for joining us. We'll see you and the Yellow Army play more on Tuesday. Yeah, brilliant. Cheers, Pat.